it's Miss Amelia at the library and today I'm going to read you pizza stories for a very special pizza story time. So today my first book is Pete the Cat in the Perfect Pizza Party. Pete the Cat loves pizza. Pete the Cat loves pizza parties too. Pete had an idea of what he could do. He would have the perfect pizza party. Pete's friends all arrived. It was time to build the perfect pizza together. That would make the pizza even better. Pete thought the perfect pizza would be pepperoni with extra cheese. It's a party, it's a party, a pepperoni pizza party. But everyone did not agree. Kelly said pepperoni would be just fine, but I really love pretzels on mine. Pete and the gang were puzzled. Pretzels? Well, that's something new, but maybe pretzels could be groovy too. It's a party, it's a party, a pepperoni pretzel pizza party. Squirrel said, pepperoni and pretzels would be just fine, but I really love pistachios on mine. Pete and the gang were puzzled. Pistachios? Well, that's something new, but maybe pistachios could be groovy too. It's a party, it's a party, a pepperoni, pretzel, pistachio pizza party. Grumpy Toad said, pepperoni, pretzels, and pistachios would be just fine, but I really love pickles on mine. Pete and the gang were puzzled. Pickles? Well, that's something new but maybe pickles could be groovy too. It's a party, it's a party, a pepperoni pretzel pistachio pickle pizza party. Gus said, pepperoni pretzels, pistachios and pickles would be just fine, but I really love popcorn on mine. Pete and the gang were puzzled. Hmm, popcorn? Well, that's something new, but maybe popcorn could be groovy too. It's a party, it's a party. A pepperoni, pretzel, pistachio, pickle, popcorn, pizza party. Alligator said, pepperoni, pretzels, pistachios, pickles, and popcorn would be just fine, but I really love papaya on mine. Now Pete and the gang were really puzzled. Papaya? Well, that's something new, but maybe papaya could be groovy too. It's a party, it's a party. A pepperoni, pretzel, pistachio, pickle, popcorn, papaya pizza party. Pete and the gang piled the pepperoni, pretzels, pistachios, pickles, popcorn, and papaya on top. The pizza was so high, they had to stop. Ding! The pizza was done. Trying something new might be fun. They all built up the courage to take a first bite and the pepperoni, pretzel, pistachio, pickle, popcorn, papaya pizza was out of sight dynamite just right. In the end, the perfect pizza is a pizza shared with friends. The end. All right, guys, get out your scars. We're gonna sing The Fish in the Sea. The fish in the sea goes swish, 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 swish. The fish in the sea goes swish, 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 all day long. The dolphins in the sea go round and round, round and round. 
Round and round the dolphins in the sea go round and round all day long. The waves in the sea go up and down, up and down, up and down. The waves in the sea go up and down all day long. The sand in the sea drifts down, 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 down. Down, 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 the sand in the sea drifts down, 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 all day long. Yay! Hi friends, it's Miss Amelia and I'm back with my second pizza story today. This book is called The Little Red Hen Makes a Pizza. The little red hen had eaten the last slice of her tasty loaf of bread. She'd sipped a cup of chickweed tea and taken her nap. Now she was hungry again, so she scratched through her cupboard and spied a can of tomato sauce. Why don't I make a lovely little pizza, she said to herself. She rummaged through her pan drawer. There were bread pans, cake pans, muffin pans, frying pans, all kinds of pans, but not one single pan, large and round and flat. Hmm. Cluck, she said, I need a pizza pan. She stuck her head out the window. Good morning, she called. Does anybody have a pizza pan? Not I, said the duck. Not I, said the dog. Not I, said the cat. Very well then, I'll fetch one myself, said the little red hen. So she went to the hardware store. She bought a pizza pan, a large mixing bowl, a pizza slicer, and some other stuff. When she got home, she opened the cupboard. She saw beans and rice, sugar and spices, jars of jam and jars of honey, and even pickled eggplant, but no flour. Hmm, cluck, she said. I need a flower. She stuck her head out the window. Hello, she said. I'll run to the store and get me some flour. Not I, said the duck. Not I, said the cat. Not I, said the dog. Hmm. Very well then, I'll fetch some myself, said the little red hen. So she went to the supermarket. She bought some flour, some salt, some oil, and some other stuff. When she got home, she opened the fridge. Gluck, she said. There's cream cheese, blue cheese, string cheese, and Swiss cheese, but no mozzarella. So, she stuck her head out the window. Excuse me, she said. Who will go to the store and buy me some mozzarella? Not I, said the duck. Not I, said the dog. Not I, said the cat. Very well then, I'll fetch some myself, said the little red hen. So the little red hen went to the delicatessen. She bought some mozzarella, pepperoni, and olives, some mushrooms, onions, and garlic, and a can of eight small anchovies, and some other stuff, but no pickled eggplant. When she got home, the little red hen put on her apron stuck her head out the window again and said, good afternoon, she said, who will help me make some pizza dough? Not I, said the duck. Not I, said the dog. Not I, said the cat. Very well then, I'll make it myself, said the little red hen. So she put the flour in the bowl and some other stuff and mixed it all together and stirred and mixed and mixed and kneaded and kneaded and pounded until she had a big ball of pizza dough. After the dough rose, the little red hen rolled it flat, folded it, rolled it again, and spun it around her head several times. The dough was just right. She tossed it way up in the air one last time for good luck and put it in her pizza pan she stuck her head out the window. Excuse me, she said, who will help me make the topping? Not I, said the duck. Not I, said the dog. Not I, said the cat. 
Very well then, I'll make it myself, said the little red hen. So she chopped and grated and grated and sliced. Next, she opened her can of tomato sauce and spread it all over the pizza dough. On top of that, she put some grated mozzarella, some sliced pepperoni, some, some chopped olives, some mushrooms, some onions, and garlic, eight small anchovies, and some other stuff, but no pickled eggplant. The little red hen looked at her pizza. It looked just right. She put it in the oven and sat down to sip on her chickweed tea. Pretty soon, a delicious smell drifted from the oven. It filled the room and floated out the window. Ah, my lovely little pizza must be ready, she thought. Oh, how beautiful. It was lovely, but it was not little. So she stuck her head out the window. Good evening, she said. Would anybody like some pizza? Can you guess what the duck said? Can you guess what the dog said? Can you guess what the cat said? They all said yes, of course. But the cat scraped most of the topping off of his share. When the pizza was all gone, the little red hen made herself another cup of chickweed tea. Then she asked, who will help me do the dishes? Now, can you guess what the duck, the dog, and the cat said? Hmm. They each said, I will, I will, I will. And they did. The end.